Hi, I'm Carl Schilling. I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network and uh, been doing uh, that work in advocacy for uh, about 12 to 13 years now. And I will say that uh, we've been very successful. It was created to help people avoid financial victimization of all types, scams, fraud, predatory sales tactics. And uh, to date, we've saved people uh, over $15 million. Now, I'm going to talk to you today about a specific, and I this would be fall under sales, um, uh, you know, predatory sales, but I'm going to talk to you about a specific financial victimization that uh, sadly everybody in our society has now been uh, abused by, okay? And uh, and that's going to be the talk about the ERISA qualified planning. Your 401k is a ticking time bomb. It's a really, really bad deal for you. Your uh, IRAs, any of your qualified plans, any of the plans where you were told that uh, you take a tax deduction you know, in the lowest tax bracket you're ever going to be in. So you deduct dollars now to defer them till later and defer to a tax bracket that you have no idea what it's going to be. And that your partner, the government, can tell you at any time how much you're going to have to pay. They can also tell you how much you can distribute, when you can distribute it. All of it is, uh, sadly, a victimization against you. The government is not a good partner, let's be honest. Nothing wrong with that. Government uh, has a lot of very good things and a lot of reasons to be our government. Being your partner for retirement is not one of them. And it's a bad deal. Any way you cut it, it's a bad deal. I won't even go through the fact that you're paying fees, you're paying commissions, you're paying all kinds of hidden costs, which is diminishing the return on your dollars. So by the time uh, inflation and an unknown tax bracket hits you, you could lose as much as 20 or 30% or 40% of your of all the dollars you put away. So why would you do that? So we have helped people uh, on their way to get tax-free liquidity, a unique asset, tax-free income, unique asset, generational wealth for the rest of the family and the rest of your generations, okay? Wealthy people have been doing this forever, forever. Estate planning, taxation. Wealthy people have created the generational wealth through the asset I'm going to talk to you about. And also, at the same time, they are not in these other kinds of things they, because there's caps on all those things. Real wealthy people are not in a 401k. Real wealthy people are not uh, you know, using IRAs. They know better than to have the government be their partner. So I wrote a book called The Middle Class Millionaire Plan. And for that, I wanted to make this message loud and clear because I have been successful helping middle-class people do the same exact things that wealthy people are doing. The financial planning industry, which I was part of, okay, I've been in this over 40 years, and for the first 25 years of my life, I drank the Kool-Aid. Sadly, I drank the Kool-Aid because I believed everything they told me. After about 25 years, I started to re-step back and take a closer look and realize that this is a financial victimization. You know this uh, uh, this this whole idea that the government's my partner and they're in the they're blessing me by allowing me to deduct money that uh, is in the lowest tax bracket I'm ever going to be in to find out later that they're going to crush me with taxes. So I'd much rather have tax free income, you know, later in my life, like now. So I've got tax free income because of this type of planning. I don't have to worry about taxes. So let me show you something real quick so you get an idea on the stages. I like to talk to people about these four stages of, uh, of life real quickly, okay? This is the life timeline. And basically th this shows you the four stages that we uh, all go through, all right? But um, the, uh, the stages of this are pretty simple. In the beginning, stage one, we start off with our birth to 20 years old. During that time, we get our basic education, which now is becoming uh, somewhat of an indoctrinization. We learn our social skills at that time. We're clueless to finances and money because no one teaches us that. There are no financial literacy classes going on where they start teaching children as young as 12 to 15 and 16 in, in early stage of middle school and high school about financial literacy. Why? I don't think they want us financially literate. Trust me on that, okay? So those are the formative years. Beliefs and values become fully imprinted and habits are formed, both good and bad. Now, from stage two, 21 to 40, next stage of life, that's the college indoctrination. 
And then we've got a career pathway, whatever it is we're going to start out on, whatever we think that we want to do. That could change. And in today's society, it changes pretty quickly. And we start our family and our home, and we really start to begin on the things. Okay, now from 21 all the way through, all the stages, those are the adult years. Now, some people have been more successful and better at life creation than others, but everyone, everyone doesn't make a difference. Middle class, wealthy, lower class does not make a difference. Everyone has the same opportunities when it comes to financial decisions for financial for financial independence. And I know that sounds uh, Pollyannish or sounds silly, but it's true. Everybody has the same uh, opportunities. And uh, it's a matter of using one's abilities and mind to make those things happen. But that's uh, for another conversation. I have a podcast, that 10 Minutes to Change Your Mind, talks about that. So stage three, 41 to 60. Now we are mature beings. Maturity is kind of set in. We're pretty confident and we're pretty competent at what we do because of that. So we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. And we focus on now and a little bit on the future because we're getting closer to those later years, that stage four, we're getting much closer to it. So we start to think about it here in this period, okay? This is the most of the period where people start putting away that 401k money and start those IRA. Now, sometimes in the 30s, you know, people start doing that as well. But um, we have, uh, you know, it doesn't make a difference when you start. It's a matter you shouldn't be starting it at all, okay? Um, and then stage four, 61, and there's a question mark, because you never know, it's the one stage, all the other stages are 20 years in, in, in length. The one stage you have no idea about is that stage four, because you could live to 100, you could live to 105, you could live to 65. Who knows? Stage four could be very short, or stage four could be incredibly long. But that's a period of wisdom and enlightenment, and it also is the period of retirement as a concept. And I got to tell you, for the last 60 years, the concept of retirement is upside down. It's screwy, balooey, and it's a financial victimization. So I don't want anyone out there to be financially victimized, okay? The uh, last stage, stage five, is a thread. It's a golden thread through all four stages. This comes through every single stage, and it's where you have determined your decisions about how money is, what money is to you, how do you use it, how do you make your financial decisions, that's all come through all of these stages, okay? And that's the difference maker because how you acknowledge the past you, the present you, and the future you is going to determine your ability to create financial independence. Now, that's what I do in my consultations with, uh, with uh, potential clients. In our consultation, I show uh, clients a three-step method on how to create financial independence. And it doesn't make a difference what age you are. Okay, obviously, the younger you are, the longer period we have to create that. Uh, the the uh, the older you are in a different stage, it's a little shorter. But at that point, you also have different assets and you have different ability to to uh, sort of shift and and make assets, uh, you know, work a little differently for you. So that's why I have a 30 minute consultation to talk to you about these things specifically as it gears to you. Now, I want to get you out of that financial victimization. So I take my clients out. One of the first stages, I take them out of all retirement plans. I get them to have the money for themselves. And I show them how to create tax advantaged income, allowing that to happen. And we get them out of those qualified government partnership plans with no taxation up front now and no penalties. Okay. So we get them out with their dollars whole. All right. Um, now there's a method and uh, there's a strategy for that. And I go over that with you on the consultation. So again, you don't have to be financially victimized. You don't have to believe me when I'm telling you. I've got over 40 years in this industry. I've seen Wall Street at its uh, finest and worst. And I've seen it up close and, 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 and very, very uh, cognitively been involved. And I'm telling you, it is a financial victimization. And I hate to see people... Uh, get to their golden years, their wonderful fourth quarter of life. And in the fourth quarter of life, everything is 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 goes screwy because um, because of little things that nobody told them they weren't aware of. And they had no idea of how badly they were going to be treated by their partner, the government. So um, let's get you out of that. OK, safely. Now, that's worth the consultation. And what I do for you is this. 
you con you have a consultation with me and I give you a, a free complimentary membership to the advocacy network. And as I said, we've saved people over $15 million. And so that is a good a tool. We help people identify financial victimizations and we help them with their decisions before they make them, you know, not to, before they lose money. That $15 million represents dollars that could have and would have been lost into scams, fraud, or predatory sales tactics. So I'm uh, very proud of that work. But now I really am on a crusade. I, I'm on a real crusade to get people out of these government partnerships. Believe me, I can't scream it out with a bullhorn uh, because obviously, uh, uh, you know, you could get sh the message could get shut down pretty quickly. But on consultation, one to one, being able to share with people and show them how to create the financial independence, it can be done. It can be done for middle class people. Now, you can also go out to the T H E advocacy net dot com, the advocacy net dot com. And you can get a free copy of the Middle Class Millionaire Plan, which will give you a little more about what I'm talking about. But it does not go into everything we go into in a consultation. Consultation is clearly one-to-one. -one. It is totally confidential. And we really share some things that I promise you, you'll leave that consultation with at least two things, two concepts that you'll say, geez, I never, I never heard of that. I never thought about that. At least two and maybe more, okay? Um, again, no obligation, no arm twisting. It's a simple, um, uh, you know, consultation where I go over how you can make financial independence. Uh, you know, uh, so again, my name is Carl Schilling. Thank you for your time. And, um, please pass this on. If it's not for you right now, you, you don't think so, uh, fine, please pass it on to others or whoever you think, uh, might be benefit from hearing this. Have a great day.